everyone and welcome to Style 3D channel. In this video, you will learn how to make a yoga suit. So let's get started. First of all, click File, Import, Import DXF, select the yoga suit to open and click OK. After we've imported, we can first check whether there is any problem with the pattern pieces and whether there is anything missing. Click on the Trace tool, then press and hold the Delete key to delete excess structure lines and convert the center line of the pattern as a symmetry axis. This will make it easy for us to adjust the pattern. Click on the Resus Library to find the avatar that we want. Double click on the avatar and press OK and it will arrive at the 3D scene. Now the avatar and pattern pieces are all imported. Next, we will open the arrangement points in the 3D window. Let's put our patterns roughly in the right place in the 2D window first. Now we will put the pattern pieces on the arrangement points in the 3D model. This will make it fit the avatar more closely. We can also adjust the X and Y spacing and orientation in the property editor window to make the pattern fit the avatar better. Here I'm making it wrap around the avatar better. In this way, when we go to sew, we can see the connection between the pattern and pattern more intuitively. The sleeves can be moved down a little bit because the sleeve part of this yoga has a finger opening structure. So we need to slightly adjust the position of this pattern. Next, we will position the back piece. The top section of the yoga clothes is roughly laid out now. Next, we can start to lay out the yoga pants. Select the front piece of the yoga pants to fit the torso so that it is symmetrical. Hold down the shift key to make multiple selections. In this way, we can place multiple pattern pieces at the same time. Here we speed up the process a little bit. The side pattern of the pads are adjusted in the same way that we did the front pattern. Now we're going to move the pattern properly to fit the avatar. Now we have finished arranging all the pieces of the yoga suit.
Let's first save the 3D shape. So here we're going to save the file. It is important to remember to save as you go. Firstly, we're going to sew the simple segments together with the segment sewing tool. It can also be done in a 3D window. For faster sewing, we can box select the top pattern, right click and apply symmetry with seam. In this way, symmetrical parts of the left and right patterns will be sewn at the same time, which speeds up our work efficiently. Now I'm going to use the free sewing tool to finish the rest of the sewing. Next, you can hold down the shift key to stitch multiple segments at once. The yoga suit has a finger hole structure on the sleeve. So we need to adjust the position of the sewing lines. Here, I'm making sure there is enough space between the sewing lines. We can do it by hand like this, by grabbing the points and changing it up and down directly to affect the position. We're going to be sewing the top half of the yoga suit first, so we can freeze the pants pattern for now. Doing so avoids the pants pattern moving during the simulation. We're also going to freeze the back straps, and then we're going to select, and in the 3D window, we're going to use the gizmo to rotate and position them. It will make it easier for us to sew later. Use the free sewing tool to sew in place. Since it is in position in the 2D window, we can use that to mark the location of where we want to start the sewing lines. Now, I'm going to freeze these small pattern pieces first. I'm going to sew the shoulder seam and the collar. Now the upper half of the sewing is completed. Right click and apply strengthen so that the clothes can be shaped quickly and easily. We're going to simulate and then adjust a little and then turn off the simulation. We have a little bit of collision here with the avatar's hand and the clothing, but we can ignore this for now. Because the particle distance of these patterns is relatively large, we can make this adjustment later, which should fix our problem. Anyways, we can pull to adjust it in the 3D window. Next, we are going to adjust the complex cross strap part of the back of the top. First, let's adjust the straps crosswise to facilitate our sewing.
We're going to strengthen these two pieces and use the free sewing tool. Then we're going to press shift key for multi-segment sewing. Then release the shift keys. At the other end, hold down the shift key and continue sewing. Hold shift from bottom to top on the other side to sew. Once completed, release the shift key. Connect the other side and end at the blue tip. Now let's simulate. Let's sew the other strap. Strengthen the pattern pieces. And then move them to a better location. Rotate them using the gizmo. Hold down the shift key to select multiple patterns. We're going to attach this the same way as before. The stitching direction of the upper line is from top to bottom, and the stitching direction of the lower line is from bottom to top. And now I will simulate. Now we're going to check the yoga clothes to see if we have any sewing problems. Everything looks good, so now we're going to box select and then control J to freeze. Next, we will sew the yoga pants. First, let's unfreeze them. Now we can sew it. Depending on your personal preference, you can also sew in the 3D window. To make this process faster, we can select the left and right side of the pattern pieces and then click Apply Symmetry with Seam. In this way, while we are sewing one side, the other side will appear sewing at the same time. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit here. Different lines require different sewing tools. So we are using segment sewing and free sewing tools. We recommend to switch between them. It just makes it very convenient for quick sewing. Here I noticed that the top of the waist was still unstitched, so I went back in with the sewing segment tool. Select all the pieces of your yoga pants and then right click to strengthen, or the shortcut key is Ctrl H. So now I'm going to simulate and we can see we've forgotten to sew somewhere. So I'm going back to the 2D window and fixing up these lines with the free sewing tool. Now that that's fixed, I'm going to go back to the simulation and I'm going to pull and drag the pattern pieces to adjust the shape of it. Now don't forget, it is very important to save as you go. So we're going to save the current state of the garment. Now upon observation, I found that the crotch fabric was facing inward, which is not what we want. So we're going to right click on the pattern and then flip the normals. 
Now we're going to unfreeze the top of the yoga suit and unstrengthen all of the pattern pieces. Now I'm going to turn on the simulation and reduce the particle distance to 10. Now we can see the fabric has become more delicate and fabric-like. Remember the issue that we had before with the fingers? It's not so much of a problem now. With the simulation still turned on, we're going to drag and pull to get the thumb into the hole. We will repeat this on the right side. Now I'm going to pull the waist down just a little bit. And then I'll also pull up the shoulders so that the clothes are fitting the avatar symmetrically. Now with the simulation still turned on, we are going to adjust the avatar's pose. I'm going to adjust it to pose I. Next, we are going to box select all of the yoga pants pieces and reduce the particle distance to 10. Now I'm going to freeze the yoga pants so I can focus on adjusting the cross bindings on the top. I'm going to right click and then strengthen the yoga top. I'm going to move the binding pieces and place them in a front and back kind of order. Here I'm trying to make that weave effect. In the property editor, let's set the number of layers in the outermost pattern to 1. Now let's set the number of the layers in the innermost pattern to minus 1. I'm going to simulate this again. I'm going to adjust the strap position while simulating and after confirming that this is the look I want, I'm going to set the number of the layers back to zero. Simulation is back on again and you can continue to adjust any problematic areas. Unstrengthen and the final adjustment of the yoga top is complete. Next, we will create a double layer effect on the edge of the top. Use the edit pattern tool to create an axis. Using the trace tool, outline the purple baselines as internal lines. Select the pattern that needs the double layer effect. Right click and it will generate the lining inside. Simulate. Reduce the particle distance of the new generated pattern to 5 and the extra collision thickness to 0. We will change the extra collision thickness of the original pattern to 1. Turn on the simulation and now we will work on the cuff part. Select all of these lines.
and generate lining inside. Set the collision thickness to zero. And then set the extra collision thickness of the outer pattern to two and reduce the particle distance to five. Simulate and adjust the cuff position. The waistband of this garment is also double sided. Outline these internal shapes. Select the pattern and then right click to generate lining inside. We'll change the properties of the fabric as we've done before. Simulate. And then adjust the top. Let's save the current state of the 3D garment. Next, let's adjust the straps. Select all the straps and then in the property editor window, select their extra render thickness and collision thickness. Let's change them both to two and reduce the particle distance to five. Using the edit pattern tool, select all the edges of the straps with the longer side. And then in the property editor window, we will select the double sided box and turn it on. Let's simulate again and adjust. Now that the shape is correct, we will freeze the top. Now let's make the double layer of the pants. Let's select these pattern pieces and generate lining inside. We will make changes to the property editor as we have done before. Let's do the same to the cuffs of the legs. Outline these internal lines. Then we will box select these pieces and then generate lining inside. Once again, we will set the fabric thickness as before. Press the spacebar to simulate. And then we will reduce the particle distance. Let's drag and pull the cuffs to adjust. After this final adjustment, the yoga pants have been completed. Next, let's unfreeze the top and add a new fabric. Let's create different fabrics first, and then set the properties one by one. Firstly, let's change the color of the yoga suit fabric. We can choose the color based on our preferences or the customer's requirements.
The top of the yoga clothes are pink and the pants are grey black. The fabric in the middle of the pants needs to be a mesh material, which we will make later. Add normal maps to fabric 1 and 2. If we zoom in, we can clearly see the texture of the fabric. Add a transparency map to Fabric 3, then adjust the transparency value to your satisfaction. If we zoom in again, we can see that this fabric has been made into a mesh effect. Now we will set it to black. Now let's adjust the physical properties of the fabric. Yoga suits are more stretchy, so let's increase the number on the stretch bias. We can try to adjust these physical properties a bit more and adjust the texture of the clothing according to real fabric. Increasing the stretch bias, we can see the folds of the yoga top are more delicate. Now, for the yoga pants, the biggest feature is the stitching between these pattern pieces. So let's select flat steaming stitch and set its parameters. In the property editor, let's check same as front. Let's box select all of these edges. So now we can see the top stitch has been added. Click on it and let's change the color to black. Hold down the shift key to select multiple unwanted top stitches. Then press delete to get rid of them. The yoga pants are now finished. Let's add top stitching to the top. Add top stitch and select as running stitch. Then set the corresponding parameters as we've done before. Check the same as front box. Click on the desired top stitch to add it. We can see the top stitch has been added. However, it's going in the opposite direction. So we can flip this in the property editor. After these adjustments have been completed, let's open the resource library and select a suitable pair of shoes. We can rotate to see how this whole outfit looks. Open the 3D Snapshot tool and select Merge Image to save directly. Doing so, we can see how the garment looks from multiple viewpoints. And that's it guys, I hope some of these tips will help you with your 3D creation. If you like what we do, please like and comment and share this video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.